Rappers can get hundreds of millions of views disrespecting women and telling black men to go out here and murder each other. And when they die, it's RIP or rest in heaven. Kevin Samuels comes along and tells black men that we can compete too. We just got to be willing to collaborate and do it as a unit and tells black women to not have children out of wedlock. And people on Twitter are cheering because he passed away. And this is what I'm talking about. We have horrible qualities that we like in our culture. If a man starts getting too well-spoken, now he speak white. And these are the same people that are hashtag protect black women. Well, how are you going to protect black women if nobody's willing to accept criticism and we worship the men that are part of the problem in our culture? And I know that this is a minority of people. I'm not saying that this is a majority. This is a small minority of the loudest people in the room. But these people are, 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 are representing us on the national stage. We got Cardi B talking to the president of the United States on black people behalf. That's our best representation. Like, let's just be completely honest, bro. We worship the wrong qualities in human beings in our culture. So and that's the truth. That's why I say black people need to hear this. Shoot, everybody need to hear this. They need to understand. You need to understand what's actually going on here. You need to understand what's actually going on here. We worship the bad things in our culture and good things in our culture. We demonize. Bad becomes good and good becomes bad. Y'all were like, you were glad that Kevin Samuels was was dead, dead, and he died. But oh, dudes that talk about shooting up the shooting up the club, killing people, selling drugs to the community, and he go to jail. You talk about free him, or you say rest if he dies, rest in peace and, and rest in heaven. You see how backwards we are. We need to stop worshiping, and this worship. We need to stop worshiping the negative things in our community. And we need to start uplifting the good things in our community. The things that are wholesome, the things that are good, the things that will make us prosper with, with, with one another, like families and getting together and making a better community with the nuclear family. I rode for Black Lives Matter. The slogan, not with the organization. I can't get, I couldn't, I could never get with the organization because all this stuff they believe in. But the slogan, Black Lives Matter, I go along with that. One of my pastor friends told me the reason why he couldn't get with Black Lives Matter, the organization, another reason why, is because they didn't support the nuclear family. How can you fix a community? without supporting the nuclear family. It was about individual black people and we, everybody, everyone to themselves. No, we need to support the nuclear family so we can build communities again. But instead we uplift baby mamas. We uplift baby mama drama. We uplift Fathers not quote unquote fathering their babies, but you do the stats and statistics, you come to find out it's a small number of dudes that's having all the babies in the black community. Between 16 and 20 percent of black men are having all these babies, like 80 percent of the babies in the black community. We need to talk about that and we need to fix that. The black community has problems that the white man and his racism can't fix. We have to fix it. Let me say it again for you. The black community has problems that we have to fix, that the white man and his racism can't fix. The damage is already done and we're perpetuating the damage that's already been done by white racism. We are in charge of fixing certain things. And this is the thing. Getting back to the family structure. But y'all going to call me Satan. And y'all going to call me evil. Because I'm trying to tell people we need to stop praising uplifting bad outcomes. And praise good outcomes like marriage. And nuclear families. And families staying together throughout whatever 
troubles and trials and tribulations, families being together. But I'm evil for, for, for telling you this. I'm evil for trying to give women tips on to how to get the outcome of marriage with the correct person so we can make a family unit tight together and we can build the community. But I'm evil though. I'm the bad guy. No, I'm trying to wake you up from this matrix that you're in where everything is everything bad is good and everything is good is bad. What y'all, Pastor Troy, vice versa? What is this? What are y'all doing? We need to start celebrating good outcomes. And we don't need to, we, I'm not saying that bad outcomes, you can't still make it in life. What I'm saying is we need to stop praising bad outcomes. We need to stop lifting it up and glorifying bad outcomes. We need to celebrate good outcomes. Black people need to hear this. Go ahead and like this. Share this content. So black people can hear this. I'm a human rights activist. I was on the front lines in the Black Lives Matter movement. Because I agree that black lives matter. I never agreed with the organization. Never. Never gave money to the organization. Never. Like and share this. Get this message out. We need to bring back the nuclear family and start praising good outcomes. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Till we meet again. Sweatpants, hair tied, chillin' with no makeup on the back. That's what you're the prettiest. I hope that y'all take it.